Welcome students. Today we are going to discuss about preparation of colloidal solution. And in this video we will basically focus on two methods. First is Bragg arc method and next one is peptidization method for preparation of colloidal solution. So let's start our discussion uh, about the preparation of colloidal solution with Bragg arc method. Okay, here is an image. This is actually a setup which we use to prepare the colloidal solutions using Bragg arc method okay if you okay the first thing is that this method is mainly used for the preparation of souls that is colloidal solutions of metals metallic souls are prepared using this method let's say soul of silver gold platinum all these metallic souls are produced using this Bragg arc method in this if you see this diagram you will notice that there are two electrodes metallic electrodes which are immersed in dispersion medium let's say water or something else a dispersion medium and this dispersion medium is very cool it is very low in temperature because of ice bath so we have the two electrodes dispersed in a cool dispersion two electrodes immersed in cold dispersion medium and just we pass the current through these electrodes and because of which an electric arc is produced so what is the setup once again two electrodes immersed in dispersion medium and dispersion medium is cool using ice bath and an electric arc is produced by passing current through the system okay so an electric arc is stuck between the two electrodes of the metal whose colloidal solution is to be prepared so if i want to prepare the colloidal solution of silver i need to take silver electrodes if i want to prepare that of gold i need to take silver uh, gold electrodes in case of platinum I, I have to take platinum electrodes so if I want to pre uh, prepare the mat mm, the soul of some particular metal, I need to take its electrode. Okay, so an electric arc is stuck between the two electrodes of the metal whose colloidal solution is to be prepared and immersed in dispersion medium, say water here. Okay, so what happens? Okay, as I just discussed, that the dispersion medium is cooled by surrounding it with freezing mixture. In case in this case, we have taken ice bath okay so what happens that the high temperature of arc here electric arc is being produced because of which the temperature of system increases and as the temperature increases a very high temperature is achieved and the metal starts vaporizing metal evaporation of metal takes place and these vapors of metals go into the dispersion medium which is very cool and thus they condense there to form the particles of colloidal size the vapors condense to particles of colloidal size on cooling and the colloidal particles thus formed get dispersed in the medium to form souls of the metal once again in some in summarized form what we have done that we have taken the electrodes immersed in a dispersion medium which is very cool and we just pass electric current to produce electric arc because of this electric arc high temperature generates and this height because of this high temperature metals starts vaporizing and the vapors of metals of electrode go into the dispersion medium dispersion medium is very cool so they condense there to form the particles of colloidal size and these colloidal particles disperse into the dispersion medium to form the soul of the metal so this was the metal the method used for preparation of metallic souls the next method is peptidization actually the peptidization is basically the process of converting precipitates into colloids actually freshly in this method freshly prepared precipitates of substance is made to pass into colloidal state by addition of suitable electrolytes we just add suitable electrolytes to the precipitates and because of which they get converted into colloids and the electrolytes which we use this for this pro process are known as peptizing agent okay what happens what is the actually process 
that let's say this is the precipitate and we just add an electrolyte into it and el what are electrolytes electrolytes are the electrolytes are those substances which when going to the solution produce ions so let's say i have an electrolyte mx so mx means it has m positive plus x negative ions okay when these are precipitates and this precipitate will attract either of the two ions if let's say it attracts x negative ion so what happens that these negative ions are adsorbed on the surface of precipitate let's say i write it in the form of negative 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 okay these negative ions let's say are adsorbed on the surface of precipitate and after that what happens that these negative charges which are present on the surface of precipitate starts repelling each other and because of this repulsion the precipitate breaks down into small particles of colloidal size and this is the basic funda behind the process of peptidization what we do once again that we pass electrolyte we just add electrolyte to the freshly prepared precipitates the precipitate adsorbs either of the two ions of the electrolyte onto on its surface and after adsorbing the repulsion takes place between these adsorbed ions and because of which the precipitate breaks down into the small particles of colloidal size an example here that when a small amount of ferric chloride solution is added to freshly prepared ferric hydroxide a reddish brown color colloidal solution of ferric hydroxide is obtained this occurs due to the adsorption of f3 positive ions over ferric hydroxide particles which causes them to disperse the solution due to electrostatic repulsion let's understand this that what is happening here actually we have precipitate of ferric hydroxide okay and we are adding into it ferric chloride this ferric chloride dissociate to give fe3 positive and chlorine negative now this precipitate of ferric hydro hydroxide attracts the ferric ion on its surface and the adsorption takes place this gets adsorbed here on the surface of precipitate now as we know that all these ions are three positively charged the same fe3 positive ions which are present on the surface of ferric hydroxide precipitate starts repelling each other and because of which this large precipitate breaks down into small particles of colloidal size so this was the method basically we have just i have just represented here in this image also that when we add ferric chloride to the freshly prepared precipitates of ferric hydroxide these gets these break down into the part small particles of colloidal size because of adsorption of fe3 positive ion on its surface okay so this was the method of peptidization which basically deals with breakdown of the large precipitate particles into small particles of colloidal size due to adsorption of the ions on its surface so these were the two important method for preparation of colloidal salts first was brick arc method which is an important one and next one was peptidization i hope things were clear to you let me finish with this thank you